Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. The IAM's partnership with Aviation High School has become a gleaming gem in the Machinist portfolio. And now it's time to take it one step further and make the program a success throughout the country. And we recognize through you that you are the future. You're the future of transportation or the future of our country. The people who will, who we will depend on to keep this great thing of ours going. That's what I told them. I said, you guys are the future engineers, you're the future mechanics, teachers, and with your vision, we can figure out how to do it. So I'm depending on you to do it. These are the future leaders in the aviation industry. And that's the opportunity that you have. Around here, the words aviation high school go a long way. Immediately, machinists know they are dealing with the next generation of transportation workers in all corners of the industry. Now, people think aviation high school, and all of you are going to be aviation mechanics. And I have learned that many of you will be many other things, engineers, teachers, professors. There may be a few senators in this room. Not every young adult from Aviation High School wants to wear a pair of overalls to work every day. Even though many realize graduating with your airframe and power plant license is more than just a backup plan. You work with your hands and you get a satisfaction knowing that you did something, you learned something, you troubleshooted, and you were the one that did all this. Showing these young mechanics there's much more to aviation than fixing the planes offers a new dimension to their training and is a major reason the IAM has been supporting and mentoring this program since 2003. Now, the machinists think it's time to take it to the next level. We were on a dual track to expand the program in terms of number of students and expand the program in terms of number of days that we can keep them down here. We partner with them and send some of these kids after they receive their AMP license. So we've got a possibility you know, that some of these kids can be interviewed so they are sent in that direction. According to the machinist and what others in the aviation field have witnessed firsthand, this partnership is working. I was thrilled because the generation coming behind us, they're going to be well prepared. Contrary to what we hear in the newspaper, they're going to be well prepared. Now it's time to let the world know that the IAM and Aviation High School are a perfect match. The students here this week are keeping their fingers crossed that the program grows and those who come behind them will reap the benefits. But I doubt this will be the last time the machinists see these faces. Well, I came to this country when I was six years old and uh, again, my passion has always been to fly and, you know, through certain connections, I've actually gone through a couple of flight schools. So, you know, I have uh, around 55 hours now and I'm about to get my private pilot license. My dream job is to become an astronaut. But in order to achieve that, I have to go through certain steps, get a college degree in mechanical engineering, pay off my college um, tuition by using my airframe and power plant license to work for the airlines, and go get a PhD in mechanical engineering or aerospace engineering. Two dream jobs the IAM hopes come with a union card and the fighting machinists on their side. Right now, the IAM is working to get accreditation for the program and maybe even some financial support from the federal government. For more on that, you can log on to GoIAM.org. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Machinist News Network.